This is how to quickly derive the equation for drift velocity of charge carriers moving in a wire. So imagine we have a piece of wire, a cross-sectional area A, its length L, and there's a current I which is flowing in it. Now N is the number of charge carriers per cubic metre, so the number of charge carriers in this bit of wire is going to be equal to NV. So the total number of charge carriers is the charge carriers per cubic metre multiplied by the volume. And if we know that each charge carrier has a charge E on it, the total charge in this piece of wire is going to be equal to NVE. Now, of course, that volume of this bit of wire is going to be equal to the cross-sectional area times the length. And therefore, the total charge in this, Q, is equal to NLAE. OK, we also know, of course, uh, that charge is equal to current times time or the current is equal to the charge transferred per unit time. Now that charge transferred is, equal to, is going to be equal to NLAE over a time of T. We also know that the velocity is equal to the distance travelled divided by the time taken. So the distance travelled L from here to here is going to be equal to VT. And therefore what we can do is replace L with VT to say NVT AE over T, the T's cancel, and therefore I equals NV AE, or we can put it into this format here to say that current is equal to A N E V. Or of course you could rearrange this if you want to work out the drift velocity of the charge carriers in this material.